Welcome back to Run Junkie. Conference weekend came and went with so much happening in between. Let's start the MPSF Championships where we saw Jeremy Elkham, the junior out of Oregon, run 748, joining four other ducks in that 3K. Shez, Jenkins, Gohegan, Elkham, Stinson. Could they put five in the top eight? Now out in SEC country, Dion Lindor is out. He hurt himself in the 400 meter prelims. Still don't know if he's gonna run NCAAs, but if Dion Lindor is not running for the Aggies, they may not be able to win that team title. But looking on the ladies' side, Ramona Burchill of Alabama runs a new collegiate record, 7.08 in the 60. That is insanely fast. Heavy favorite going into Fayetteville. And now in Big 12's upset city, Sinaje Givens of Texas took down John Teeters and Trayvon Bromel in that 60 meter dash, which just proved that the 60 meter dash is anyone's, anyone's game. This is not a game. Then I said that. Let's keep that conference action rolling out in Big East. Emily Simpson of Providence ran 15-12. Are you kidding me? That is insanely fast. She is unstoppable right now. I mean, she is more likely, she is less likely to lose than Cheswick is to lose. And over at ACC's Notoya goal goes down to Virginia Tech's Hannah Green. Upset City! Yeah. And over at Big Ten country, we saw the Michigan Wolverines have their streak snapped in the DMR at Big Tens because Michigan State, Leo O'Connor coming in and taking that title. She is so good. Apparently she split 425. I don't know if that's true, but if she did, oh my God, Leo O'Connor. But another huge thing from Big Tens, Mike Learman finally, finally did it through over 25 meters in the way. Toss finally got it out. And we also had a ton of action out at USA's in Boston. Roberry and Centro take home the miles for the Nike Oregon Project. And in the two mile, Ryan Hill took the title and Roberry came back and completed the mile, two mile double. <laughs> Dropping down in events, we had the 600 where we saw Alicia Montonio take the national title after having a baby, which was insane. But Aji Wilson going down, falling out taking out the entire field. The, the race didn't go as we thought it should have happened. So uh, we'll just have to wait to the outdoors to see Aji Wilson light it up on the track. And on the men's side, Kaz Loxton goes hashtag beast mode on yep. at the 600 runs, 115.33, new American record. Just breaking the American records. He had it, he went out in 48 seconds and he already had a second lead over the rest of the field. And looking at the 1,000 meters, my man Robbie Andrews Ooh. is back. Runs at 25 last 200, he was Flying, congratulations to him. And in the women's 1K, which was the highlight of the weekend, the upset of the weekend, the upset so far of the year, Lauren Wallace taking down Trenere Mosier and Stephanie Brown in that 1K, winning her first national title. She- Burn up, it wasn't burn even, up. She was gonna, she was, she was out of it. And then that last 25 meters, she just went now this weekend, we're going to be live at the JUCO National Championships in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And you might think, well, who's JUCO? They're a bunch of people we'd never heard of. Well, we'll just say JUCO is the breeding ground for crazy good talent. Let's say uh, Steven Sambu was in, in the, at this meet. Uh, Sally Kipiego was at this meet. Oh, and a collegiate record holder, which just happened this past weekend, Ramona Virtual, was in the JUCO National Championships. So this race is the future of the, the elite NCAA athletes. So watch it live on Flowtrack going down this weekend, Friday, Saturday. This is my boy James. We're best buds. We're talking about track and field. And you got your fix.